Hey everyone, Tim here with your 1245 Prayer Life devotional for today. It is Friday, July 2nd. Woohoo! It is Friday. Uh, some of you might be on the road right now as it is a holiday weekend uh, for many of us. Uh, maybe you had today off or maybe you have a long weekend and Monday off. Whatever it may be. Um, and wherever you find yourself, thanks for joining us today. I'm coming to you from the Sunshine Room today as it is another beautiful day outside. It's getting warmer though, and it's going to be a hot weekend. And so I hope, uh, I hope wherever you find yourself, you stay cool. And uh, thanks for taking a moment to join me for our prayer life today. Uh, today there are three readings. I'm going to read for you the last one, uh, but you can write these down. Uh, so that you can read the others when you have time or after your uh, holiday weekend. The first one is Psalm 48. The second one is 2 Samuel chapter 3, verses 1 through 12. And the third one I will read for you is from 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 7 through 11. If you want to follow along, feel free to pause this video and uh, grab a Bible. Otherwise, I will read it for you now, starting with verse 7. Look at what is before your eyes. If you are confident that you belong to Christ, remind yourself of this, that just as you belong to Christ, so also do we. Now, even if I boast a little too much of our authority, which the Lord gave of which the Lord gave for building you up and not for tearing you down. I will not be ashamed of it. I do not want to seem as though I am trying to frighten you with my letters. For they say his letters are weighty and strong, but his bodily presence is weak and his speech contemptible. Let such people understand that what we say by letter when absent, we will also do when present. Here ends our reading. So there were just a couple things that stood out to me uh, as I read this for all of you. Uh, and it's the first part and the last part of this reading. So the first part, going back to um, verse 7, look at what is before your eyes. If you are confident that you belong to Christ, remind yourself of this. And so I hope today uh, is a reminder that we do belong to Christ and you are a child of God on this beautiful Friday. And so I want you to want you to remember that. And the last part uh, that really stood out to me was, uh, let such this is verse eleven. Let such people understand that what we say by letter when absent, we'll also do when present. And that just got me thinking about you know the words that we say or the words that we write down. Um, that they are just words unless we follow through with our heart and our actions and, and truly live out what we say. Uh, and so I hope that as you go throughout your life, I know uh, challenge, I challenge myself to do this as well, but um, live out what you say. Uh, live out what we learn uh, here in this Bible, um, how we act with one another, um, and don't uh, let our words just be kind of empty words, but, but truly back them up. Uh, even if we're not in front of people, um, as, as it says here. So when I'm away, you know, writing these letters and writing these words, uh, we will also do them uh, when we are present. Um, so those are just a few things that uh, stood out to me. Maybe there are others uh, from this really short reading or uh, from the other two readings for today. Um, but thanks for taking a moment uh, to, to read those with me uh, today. Lastly, it's been a couple weeks since uh, I have uh, seen all of you or, or been all of you with these prayer lives because I've been busy with, uh, with high school youth trips. And so I just want to thank you uh, for your prayers for our canoe trip and for our time up at Camp Vermilion. Really appreciate the support and the prayers while we are away and truly look forward to sharing uh, memories and stories with all of you very soon. All right, can I pray for us uh, as we start our uh, holiday weekend together. Let us pray. Dear God, I want to thank you for the gift of today. I pray, especially on this day, uh, where many of us might be away or traveling, uh, that you watch over each and every person that is on our roads and going to visit family and friends. Um, and I pray that you just keep them all safe over this holiday weekend so that we can gather back together 
again next week. Uh, thank you for these words uh, today, and uh, I pray that uh, you listen to any prayer requests or concerns that we have on our hearts and our minds as we lift them up to you. And uh, keep us all healthy and safe until we are able to meet again. In your name I pray. Amen. All right, everybody. I hope you have a great 4th of July, and I'll see you again soon.